On Friday, after days of back and forth, troubled cryptocurrency exchange FTX announced on Twitter that it was filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In the space of days, the exchange's liquidity dried up, going from a $32 billion valuation to bankruptcy. As the news of its insolvency spread earlier in the week, customers demanded withdrawals in droves. The world's largest cryptocurrency exchange Binance also backed out of a non-binding agreement to buy the company after only a day of due diligence. According to reports, the firm's sister company, Alameda Research, which is also part of the bankruptcy protection, reportedly owes FTX around $10 billion. Sam Bankman-Fried has resigned as the exchange's chief executive officer and handed over to John Ray III. The former billionaire went from being hailed as the industry's white knight drawing comparisons to billionaire investor Warren Buffett to having a net worth of zero dollars, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. In this video, we will examine the statement from FTX, the market's reaction to the bankruptcy news, and most importantly, what happens to creditors now that the exchange has sought protection in the courts. Please watch the video to the end, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Also, ensure you drop your comments and observations in the comments section below and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Thanks if you enjoy the video. Just a day after SBF publicly apologized for the collapse of his crypto exchange FTX, the former billionaire resigned from his position as the firm's chief executive officer, according to the official statement from the exchange. Here's the full statement. FTX Trading Limited doing business as FTX.com announced today that it West Realm Shares Services Incorporated doing business as FTX US, Alameda Research Limited, and approximately 130 additional affiliated companies, together FTX Group, have commenced voluntary proceedings under Chapter 11 of the United States Bankruptcy Code in the District of Delaware in order to begin an orderly process to review and monetize assets for the benefit of all global stakeholders. John Jure III has been appointed Chief Executive Officer of the FTX Group. Sam Bankman-Fried has resigned his role as Chief Executive Officer and will remain to assist in an orderly transition. Many employees of the FTX Group in various countries are expected to continue with the FTX Group and assist Mr. Ray and independent professionals in its operations during the Chapter 11 proceedings. The immediate relief of Chapter 11 is appropriate to provide the FTX Group the opportunity to assess the situation and develop a process to maximize recoveries for shareholders, said Mr. Ray. The FTX Group has valuable assets that can only be effectively administered in an organized joint process. I want to ensure every employee, customer, creditor, contract party, stockholder, investor, governmental authority, and other stakeholder that we are going to conduct this effort with diligence, thoroughness, and transparency. Stakeholders should understand that events have been fast-moving and the new team is engaged only recently. Stakeholders should review the materials filed on the docket of the proceedings over the coming days for more information. According to the statement, Ledger X LLC, FTX Digital Markets, FTX Australia, and FTX Express are not included in the Chapter 11 proceedings. The news of the bankruptcy sent ripples through the crypto market and Bitcoin immediately plunged below $17,000. But the impact of the FTX collapse might be more than a few percentage drops in prices. Earlier on Friday, crypto lender BlockFi announced it was pausing withdrawals due to the FTX collapse. According to a tweet from the crypto lender, the lack of clarity around the FTX situation meant it could not conduct business as normal and would be limiting users' activities. It also asked clients to stop all deposits to its wallet and interest accounts. Here is the full statement from BlockFi. We are shocked and dismayed by the news regarding FTX and Alameda. We, like the rest of the world, found out about this situation through Twitter. Given the lack of clarity on the status of FTX.com, FTX US, and Alameda, we are not able to operate business as usual. Our priority has been and will continue to be to protect our clients and their interests. Until there is further clarity, we are limiting platform activity, including pausing client withdrawals as allowed under our terms. We will share more specifics as soon as possible. We request the clients not deposit to BlockFi wallet or interest accounts at this time. We intend to communicate as frequently as possible going forward, but anticipate that this will be less frequent than what our clients and other stakeholders are used to. In July, BlockFi and FTX US announced this past July that the companies had agreed to a deal where an FTX US would provide BlockFi with a $400 million credit facility. The deal was to give FTX the right to acquire BlockFi. With FTX now bankrupt, the deal is in shambles. But this might be far from over, according to a recent from Binance Chief Executive Officer Changping Zhao. On Friday, the Chinese-Canadian executive warned that more companies could fail in the coming weeks as a result of the FTX situation. So what happens now that FTX has filed for bankruptcy? 
According to the U.S. Bankruptcy Code, businesses that go broke usually use Chapter 11 bankruptcy to retain possession and control of their assets under the supervision of a bankruptcy court. Also known as reorganization bankruptcy, it suspends all judgments, collection activities, foreclosures, and property repossessions against the filing business, giving it time to negotiate with its creditors. Said creditors cannot pursue debts or claims that arose before the filing of the bankruptcy petition. Under the Bankruptcy Code, FTX is mandated to file a written disclosure statement containing information about its assets, liabilities, and business affairs, and a reorganization plan which will include a discussion of how it plans to handle the claims against it. This must be done within 120 days of filing for Chapter 11. Within the next 180 days, it will also be mandated to persuade creditors to accept its plan. If it misses these deadlines, creditors can file their own reorganization plans. As soon as a reorganization plan is accepted and confirmed to be practical and in good faith, FTX will be free of its old debts but bound by the reorganization plan to pay off creditors. What do you think about the latest developments in the FTX collapse? Do you think this will cause another contagion similar to what occurred after Luna's collapse? Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. We are trying to hit 200,000 subscribers before the year ends, and we will appreciate all the support we can get. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on post notifications for more timely updates on the crypto markets. Thanks for watching.